Don't look at me like that, Topham Hat. I'm doing the best that I can here. Hey guys, welcome back. Long time no see. Didn't have a video out yesterday because I actually took care of some things around the house here that I've been meaning to do for a very long time. I got some new lights put in, new ceiling lights, got a new ceiling fan, installed that, did all this stuff, really scored some brownie points with Mrs. Brickitect, which I know you guys are really pulling for me in that regard. But as a result of me putting all the time into that, there was no Lego video yesterday. And I feel bad about that. And now here we are on Tuesday. We're about halfway through the day. Clark Man just went down for a nap. We actually have to leave here in about an hour and a half to go to his doctor for his annual checkup. So today's been one of those busy days, plus I spent pretty much the whole morning doing this. We've got this art easel that he got for Christmas. I'll actually link the video up top here if you wanna see him get this. And we had a whole bunch of fun with that. Here's a sneak peek at his self-portrait that he did. Down here in the Brickitect studio, things are a disaster as evidenced behind me here. I'm still working on this project right here, which is Lego Creator Set. 31069, this is Modular Family Villa. I've made no progress on that. And now we've got Thomas taking over the table. Still have the Space Squad set out here that we built the other day and RIP the Scout Trooper. He lived a, a good life, but a short life. In other studio news, look at this boys. Got myself a new shelf. Did a little bit of rearranging here. It's gonna be a whole update video where I'm kind of trying to find a way to make things work because if you didn't notice, We've got sets starting to stack up everywhere. In fact, I'm thinking about back here in this corner over here, thinking about just making this a box wall. It's just gonna be boxes stacked up. I don't even care if the window gets blocked. It is what it is, but that's what's going on over here. There's gonna be an update on that. But speaking of shelves, right here, my friends, you hear that? I got a fourth one of those shelves and that's gonna be going, I'm thinking like maybe over here, I might have to get rid of our DVD collection, but it could go right back there. I just need a place for overflow. What else is going on around here? Oh, I did a little bit of a haul. I shared this in my Brick Tech Live video the other day, which is now magically working. I was having some issues with live streaming over the weekend. Thankfully, I think YouTube resolved those issues, but they wouldn't admit that there was a problem. Got this little poly bag here. This is Lucy versus Alien Invader. Basically bought it for the Alien Invader, as I'm sure most people did. I'll make this maybe a video tomorrow, I think. Tomorrow's gonna be a work day for me. Clark Man is going to his yammies, so I'm gonna be trying to, oh, I forgot to even show you this. Oh my God, it's so bad, guys. This is the reason that I need more shelves or maybe to buy less sets, or maybe to not collect the boxes the way I do. But that's gonna be my big project for tomorrow. But in the meantime, I think I'll have some time to, to make this a little video for you guys. In addition to that, I still have the Eiffel Tower to build, which I really wanna do and have that done. And, you know, just try to maybe get something done around here in terms of building other than fixing the house up and putting in shelves. But the truth is all these things are really important to get done, especially when you're making the wife happy because I've had a lot of people tell me on here, happy wife, happy life. And when she came home yesterday and she saw all the lights done and she was so happy about it, to me that was more important than having a video out. And I hope you guys understand that. Look, I can't even see my clock. What time is it? Uh, it's 12, 17. I have to be out of here no later than 1.30 and that includes getting Clark Man up and around. Let's actually get some Lego built in this video. Make this update into a build video possibly. We can do this. Get Benny, Jenny, Lenny, and Spenny or whatever the other one's name is out of the way. And I think we're, we're good to go here. Have you guys ever done this where you've used a Lego piece as a bookmark? Love it. And I think this is where we're at, building this little windowsill thing. Clarkman, of course, has done some customization to this. And I think I'm gonna have to move this guy out of the way. Just finished step 225 and the modular family villa is done. Let's go check the time. You guys all know I'm a notoriously slow builder and it is, wow, only 1240. We're good, we're good. Let's take a look at this thing. Show it off to you. I did that a little bit. All the family just got taken out. We'll even get that out of the way so you guys can see this. Here is the house. And before I start doing anything crazy to this, because this is all modular and you can switch all this stuff around, you may see how almost like it's like a box like this. And then you got one, two, three, four things in the front. You can move those things wherever you want. So if you want that window to be over here, you can pull this window out just like that. Take this window out just like that and then switch it just like that possibly. There we go. All right, so you just switch that around. You can move the basketball hoop if you want to. In fact, I think that basketball hoop would probably be better like on the side over here. And even this stuff you can break apart however you want. This is what it looks like from the front with my modification. And again, you can even take this, like you can switch the roof around. You can take the roof and go like that and take this roof and put it over here, which is why it's modular. And it definitely helps if you line it up properly so you don't have a gap in there. Lesson learned to myself. Let's, uh, I showed you the garage, I think in the last video, but if you didn't see that, this little car with this really cool light brick that lights up the headlights goes in there. So you can put that in there. And there's a little dog house. There's actually a brick built dog over here too, right there. 
and there's a birdhouse. I love this. This is probably one of the coolest things about it. There's a little birdhouse right here, and there's a, like a little spot for a bird to stand. No bird with it, though, so I'm taking points off for that. Just kidding. Here's the back. Inside, nothing crazy. You've got a very basic bed. You've got a couch, which isn't bad. Coffee table with coffee. There's a little outdoor seating area here, which you can, again, turn around and move wherever you want. So if you want it to be right in front of the door, it's there. Down here, I guess that's a kitchen and a table. And look at that garage. Like a glove. Couple mini fingers with this. We got the dad. We've got the little kid, the little Clark man mini fig. And also the mom. I love the torso. If the camera wants to work with me, I love the torso on the little kid. It's like the little Benny spaceman. Speaking of Benny, he could actually invade this set. There he is right there. So that's what this set is. I know not a wildly comprehensive review, but you get the idea. If this was a set you were thinking about getting, this is what it looks like. And, you know, it's kind of fun, again, just to kind of mess around. Let's see what we can do here. One-handed attack is probably going to mess us up. There, we just took some stairs off. You can have some stairs in the front of the house going up to that window for no reason. You can take the basketball hoop out again, like I mentioned, which uh, I guess this door probably wouldn't work very well there. You might have to move some interior stuff around, which you can do. You can do. Did you guys get the idea yet? I think you probably did. You can just pop that off. Oh, jeez. Okay, we're going to end this review. <laughs> gonna be it for today's video. I know it's super random, but that's just what's going on here today, and I didn't want to leave you another day without a video, so there's just some goings on in Brickitech Studio, plus a finished up build, which made it all worth it. And now that I'm thinking about this, this can be advice for me and to anyone else that's watching this video. And a lot of people come to me and they say, do you have any advice for making YouTube videos? I say, just get out there and do it. Even if you think the video is not gonna be good, even if you don't have any kind of plan, like maybe this video, just make something. Get it out there. People will watch it. People will follow you. People will appreciate your effort and that's what it's all about, guys. So thank you so much for watching this. Again, tomorrow's video is probably gonna be this poly bag, which I'll do in the morning and have it out for you guys. The rest of the day, while Clark Man's at his yammies, I'm gonna be building shelves. Shelf ended up getting all these sets organized, so hopefully Thursday's video is an organization video. Oh, I almost forgot one other thing. Clark Man's doctor is literally right around the block from Kmart, so maybe I could take you guys to Kmart with me and we can see what Kmart looks like in 2019. Probably still get some 2014 sets in there if we're lucky. I don't know, but that's what's going on. If you guys want to see this video, I'm going to try to edit that up tomorrow as well. That's going to be on Greg's World. I'll link that channel up above. A lot of stuff happening here, guys. Thank you so much for watching this one, and as always, next video.